according to the calendar is spring. Obviously, not so much. It's kind of cloudy and not very pretty, but it was, you know, uh, springish weather yesterday. Um, there hasn't been a vlog for February and there are lots of reasons for that. Basically, my mental state wasn't the best and um, I wasn't doing much other than reading a lot. Um, but if you want a longer explanation for that, I will link my Descent into Madness stream with Claire in the info card and down below so you can watch that. I had to make some tough decisions and one of them was to completely scrap my publishing schedule, which... <sighs> That was a great stress relief. Um, since I did that, I started writing more. I started the month with um, about 2,000 words that I wrote yesterday and then last night um, on Sarah's stream, which is my Saturday, um, I wrote another 1,000 and change. I'm back to I'm back to streaming. I'll have my live writing today at 5 p.m. Um, it's about, um, let me check, 12, 12, 30 um, in the afternoon and haven't done much today. I ran late with my bullet journal setup. So yeah, I did that today because I kind of am a day behind with bullet journaling and as far as planning for this week goes. I did that in my weekly spread, which was kind of part of last month. So I did that. I used stickers again. I didn't feel like doing anything complicated, so I didn't even use a ruler. I freehanded everything and tried to keep it as minimal as I could. I gave up tracking my social media following because I'm already tracking YouTube um, in my main bullet journal for the year, in the yearly spreads. And the rest, I just, I just can't be bothered to care much about that. Uh, I'm focusing on getting back on a schedule this month and we'll see how that goes. Uh, so far, so good. Like I said, I'm writing more. Um, I'm still on my healthy eating path and I have my fit band and trying to you know, take note of everything. I'm not particularly happy with how it's tracking my sleep. I don't know what the problem is. It's working, uh, I don't know, kind of weird sometimes and kind of great other times. I guess it just needs some calibrating. I still have like four hours and a half before the stream. And the plan for that is to go to the grocery shop. Uh, we need some stuff from there and I need to buy some snacks for tonight. We're having a movie night at my boyfriend's. We try to do this every weekend or every other weekend. And it's not your typical movie night. Um, we have friends coming over and it's not a very mainstream movie, actually. Uh, Mike is a bit of a dictator when it comes to the movies. I mean, he gives us options, but he can change his mind and decide what to play. And it's usually more obscure movies at least not movies everybody's watching right now and it's always a good watch but it's kind of weird it's always on the side of weird i mean we watched bad lieutenant last week which is like a glorious but freaking shocking and strange movie so i'm going to listen to an audiobook while i go grocery shop and um <laughs> i mean I've added three titles to my reading list and it's March 2nd. Um, it was shorter reads, two shorter reads, like novella length things and a book I'd started last month. So it would have been my 39th book for last month. Um, I upped my goal for reading for this month to 10 books. Anyway, I kind of restructured my goal setting. This month it's important because I made so many changes and I kind of change the strategy of goal setting. It's very TBD, <laughs> to be determined at a later date. It's just finish this whip, but there's no title for a whip. Um, so whichever I happen to finish, um, I still have the 75k word goal and uh, 
so far we're off to a good start. We'll, we'll see how it goes uh, from here on. So yeah, that's it. Uh, looks like there's going to be a bit of sun. So I'm going to head out to do the shopping and um, try to update you later um, or on another day because that's the beauty of a monthly vlog. I can film less and actually have enough material at the end of the month. Unless it's February where, well, we all know how that went. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll catch you all later. Bye. Hello everyone. Uh, I'm too lazy to, you know, pull out the tripod. So <laughs> uh, we're going to do this like this. It's March 17. I look a mess. Um, I haven't filmed much this month for the vlog, um, but I've been busy. I've worked so far on three covers, two for Just Don't, book six and seven. I'm done with book six. I'm sort of done with book seven as a cover. And uh, I've worked on a cozy cover for a series I've written 900 words in because that makes absolutely perfect sense. What else? I've been writing a lot. I finished, I finished just book, <laughs> just don't book six last week and started book seven. I'm about 40% into that and hope to finish it next week. I've also been editing Owl Investigations, so I've kept really busy. Um, and that's not because I wasn't as lazy as I usually am, it's because a lot of people are doing write-ins these days. So I took part in write-ins like four days during the work week, twice on Sky's channel and twice on Dana's channel. I had to skip Sarah's stream this week because I was supposed to wake up super early on Saturday to fix my car, which I did and uh, no, you can't see it from here. Right. Weird angle, doesn't matter. My car is now operational, it has a new battery, we're friends again. And then I had mine stream yesterday. I've been trying to write a minimum of 2000 words per day and I kept that. Some days I went closer to 4k but I'm not stressing myself too much about it. Oh, and I've been editing too. I've been editing the first Owl Investigations book because, uh, yeah, I have to do that. Also edit all the Just Don't books. And this morning it was, oh, God damn it. Um, it's why I look so rough and uh, definitely haven't done anything much. Then wake up, wash my face, take the dog out and then spend way too much time drinking coffee and watching guard videos and some other cute videos too. Um, and then I sketched and painted for about an hour. And um, I'll show you the clips of me painting after this intro. And um, now I have to take a break because I have to wait for my acrylics to dry so that I can put the final touches on the painting and in the meantime I'm going to Lidl to get some water for us and some groceries and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to do and then I'm going to finish the painting and if I'm still able to do anything I'm going to edit. The reason why I'm so rough it's because at about 2.30 am some dumbasses decided to take a garbage bin and drag it along the streets to the bigger bins that we have here to collect garbage and they would go back and forth with it. I don't know, maybe they were trying to find something in the garbage, I don't know. But they were singing and screaming and that garbage bin they were dragging about made awful noise and that went on for about half an hour. Um, so by the time they were done I couldn't go to sleep again until like 6 a.m. I read. But it wasn't fun. So yeah, I'm going to head out and do the grocery shopping and I'll try to update you more often for the rest of the month. Hopefully that, that works out. Bye for now. Okay, so this is what I've been doing today, working on this painting, following a Kate Joblin tutorial. Um, this is my very messy palette because it's plastic and everything sticks on it. I have to take a break from it to um, go take care of some errands. By the way, when I take breaks, I watch other art videos. So yeah, so far it's looking good. And let me just show you yesterday's effort. Yeah, okay. So yeah, this was yesterday's 
that was today so yeah here is where my Sunday is going because um, it's fun and relaxing and colorful hi guys it's March the 21st it's a Thursday and uh, hey look at me I'm filming for the vlog um, I'm doing way better than in the first half of the month which is like a win um, as you can probably see I had my hair cut and dyed uh, that happened yesterday I'm really happy with the result even if my hair already started to curl and it's not as straight as it was yesterday I don't mind a lot um, as you can see in the back at least it's much shorter and it's way easier to manage it for now um, also it looks pretty <laughs> so yeah that was my 8th, 8th of March gift from my mom uh, we both went and got uh, cuts and I also got the you know dye and style and everything uh, which she doesn't do much now also she has really short hair so that that makes sense other than that there was a there was a lot of admin stuff to take care of first of all I had to package and ship out the um, two little paintings I did one was for my father and one was for my father's wife his birthday was yesterday her birthday is coming up after mine but I wanted to send both at the same time because a I didn't know how the postal service would work to that little village <laughs> and I thought um, I'll send them both see if they get there if they get there I'll count my blessings if not I have time until her birthday to paint some other stuff and send them I also did a lot of uh, emails and planning and things like that I had an interview um, that I had to take care of uh, from a career magazine here in Romania one of the editors working for that magazine is a connection of mine on LinkedIn and he invited me to do an interview with them and um, it took me a few hours to reply to all those questions first of all because <laughs> after years and years of only writing about fiction and um, everything connected to my author career in English is really hard to do it in straight up Romanian so no wronglish no <laughs> not anything like that and then um, this morning specifically I spent a lot of time thinking and planning for the future of this channel and I've realized like I realized that I've been holding back a lot um, I see a lot of people going all the way on giving advice and stuff with far less experience than I have and I never really did that oh great why is there always noise when I'm trying to film so I never really did that because I know how shifty things are uh, and by shifty I mean they shift and move fast and they change and they depend on a lot of uh, variables and context is important and all that but then I realized hey actually I have a few good years of publishing experience behind me and um, I'm quite comfortable talking about it from the perspective of what worked for me, what I tried, what I did, what I do differently. So uh, there's going to be a lot more content on self-publishing, but from the perspective of marketing, scheduling stuff, managing your stress, things like, things like that. And um, I will definitely follow in the footsteps of the uh, creators of the 20 books group and adopt the philosophy of probably, which seems like the most genuine way to go when it comes to writing advice or publishing advice or just being an author in general and uh, this probably idea um it's hashtag probably you'll probably find it a lot in facebook posts and stuff like that is that you share what worked for you or what you tried where you had issues what you did to regroup and retry but don't pass anything of it as axiomatic or dogmatic uh, because what works for you might very well not work for a different person especially if they don't share genre speed of releasing general situation the backbones you've already put in place for each platform you're promoting through so yeah i'm going to do that i've planned out uh, about 12 video ideas and I still have the um, AuthorCube experience and how to improve it video to edit and the uh, good reasons to self-publish video that I, I have all um, scripted and I need to film and edit and yeah, there's there's going to be a new fresh content 
and I'm really happy now that I found my way again because I wasn't sure in which direction to take this channel to be honest and um, while a lot of things will still happen and I'll still publish them I'm going to act as I feel which is a lot more confident than I appear from the video content I produce and um, I'll be as candid as always I'll talk about my struggles be it, you know, career struggles or physical and mental struggles, those I think are important and I do believe providing um, a glimpse into the experience of being an author might help people and um, yeah, I'll go with the probably philosophy so that I don't feel like I'm preaching to people when that's the last thing I want to do. In terms of writing, I've been writing, I'm halfway through just doing book seven. I think if I if I do a little push from now until the end of the week, I might finish it. If not, early next week. Uh, I'm not too stressed about it, <laughs> which I will talk about in a future video about how to manage stress and, um, you know, reduce it, especially when you're like me and put a lot of pressure on yourself, which is not healthy. So yeah, that's the plan for now. Um, by the way, it's about 10.30 a.m. I'm going to the dentist now and then I need to do a lot of grocery shopping uh, on my way back. Um, probably go by Addis's vet because I need to get some of his um, little pills, the one that are for internal parasites. It's that time of the year. Well, one of the four times of the year when I have to do that. And uh, then it's back to writing, filming, editing, and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm really happy and kind of confident and um, optimistic about my plans right now. And I'm um, super excited to get into all of that. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you in the next clip of this vlog. Bye. Hello again. It's Friday, March 22nd. Uh, it's, let me see. Close to 4 p.m. and I've already had a pretty full day. Um, the first great win of the morning is that I finally realized where to slot in my workout so that um, I actually do it and I don't look for reasons to skip it. Because the problem was I kept trying to do it first thing in the morning and I didn't like that because I have my morning rituals where I do my bullet journaling and my regular journaling while having my two cups of coffee and then I take the dog out and then my day starts. So whenever I try to do the workout before, kind of failed. Um, try it in the evening, it's not as fun. So what I decided to do was get through all my rituals and then a workout and it went great. I did my fitness bike thing for my legs and then I did a bit of weight training for my upper body which was really tough. Tougher than expected for a 20 minute uh, training session. I don't know. It was okay. And um, after that I started working. I finished writing the new chapter for Magic Unleashed which is my free serial on the blog. I now have to read through it and edit it and then post it. I also finished doing all my errands. I had to get a quick x-ray to go back to my dentist on Monday and uh, buy some stuff from a um, small car for market on the way back and uh, I had a very late lunch. That said, I had my breakfast at 11 post workout and shower. so. That, that makes sense. And now, uh, like I said, I need to finish editing that piece and posting it and then doing a voiceover for the art channel and um, editing and uploading that video. And um, after that, not sure I'll have time for any kind of writing, not until the stream starts with Travis and Bob and Mike. And after that, um, I hope to get a couple of sessions in for Just Don't, the seventh book. And um, that's about it. It's been a crazy day. I'm feeling really tired. I think I'm going to get more coffee. 
uh, which I don't normally do, but you know. Apparently, I need more. I've had an overall good day, you know, eating healthy, walking a lot. I'm close to 8,000 steps for today and a 40 minute workout, which was awesome. I hope uh, I keep doing as well tomorrow and the day after that. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty okay with my meditating. I'm still not doing it daily, but I do it like five times a week. I'm working on it. And I'm going to get there. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. I'll talk to you guys later and um, start working on that cereal. Happy Sunday, everyone. It's March 24th, I think. Yep, it's Sunday, it's close to 6 p.m. and I'm going to call it a day for today. Unless I want to paint later in the evening. But it's been, it's been a crazy day for a Sunday. I started my normal things. Journaling, coffee, taking dog out, and then I did the workout. I did um, some cardio on the fitness bike because I always do that for my legs, my knee, and uh, getting ready for surgery. And then I did an upper body workout with weights and stuff. Barbells, the man said on the video. Now that I am very clear on how to name all the weights, I think Caro. <laughs> did a sort of an explanation for me on our live on our live stream yesterday on my channel, but then I forgot. By the way, I streamed yesterday and I wrote about 2,000 words. That was a busy day too. And now today I filmed videos, I filmed my Bujo setup, I filmed a video on the philosophy of probably and how to use that to frame your writing and publishing advice. And um then I filmed my video on good reasons to self-publish and I decided I was not really all there when I was writing those reasons because some of them were kind of repetitive. So I changed it and it will it's going to be a fiver and I think it will be kind of funny and um, I will get to talk about everything I love about self-publishing, which is always great. So... Um, that's about it. I did all of that. I did all the filming. Oh, and I did a painting for the welcome page of the bullet journal and I recorded that for the art channel. Uh, I'm tired. I feel like I've been running around the house all day working. <laughs> and uh, come on, where are you? Here. I need support. And um, now when I think about it, well, I have three, four videos filmed, of which one I have to refilm. I did rework my, my, my list of reasons, so there's that. Um, I did all that, I did all the emailing and messaging and whatever else was needed, and now it's 6 p.m. So I'm going to head over to my boyfriend's. We're doing another movie club thing. He's chosen a Japanese film. I don't know what it's called, he never told us. I don't know what it's about, but he always does that with a... Well, not always, but most times he does that with a, uh, with a film club. <laughs> I mean, he's the host, he gets to decide, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm all ready to go to that and spend a nice, enjoyable evening over there. And I'm tired, you guys. I'm, I'm really tired. Um, I've noticed that I worked out for two days in a row, like Friday and Saturday. And then today I was trying to come up with excuses of why not to work and then I took a look at my arms and uh, I, I wasn't wearing a shirt and I was like, that's why you need that upper body workout because um, I got a lot of fat on my arms now. Um, I'm, I'm not mad with myself over the weight gain because I know it, was, it wasn't all under my control. A lot of things went wrong after the surgery and in the months after that. And while I recovered, I became a bit more lax with a lot of things. And shoving a lot of vitamins on my throat apparently didn't help because those made me feel like I was starving all the time. And um, yeah, now I have to work on all of that because um, I need a lot of muscle mass. 
before surgery because if I have to stay in bed for any amount of time, I do not want to lose to my funny mass muscle mass again because last time it was awful not being able to lift, like raise my leg a bit. It was insane. Also, whoever look at me, look at look look here, look here. Whoever fucking invented Spider Man crunches. I think I hate you. I also think I love you. They do make my triceps burn. I complained about it on, on Facebook as well. So yeah, um, great. I did my workout. I am taking a break from the workouts tomorrow, mostly because I have a dentist appointment and I'm going to walk to and from the dentist. And then I have to walk around a bit to get some groceries. So I'll get a lot more of a workout from day-to-day -day walking than I normally would, plus there will be no time if I want to also get the videos edited and do some writing and all of that. Plus, I do need a day where I don't work out. In the future, that will be Saturday, but for now, I worked out on Saturday already. It's not like I was awake for Sarah's stream, because I slept through that. So, um, the plan for the future is to do like normal workouts Monday to Friday and then take a break on Saturday and then on Sunday do the one of the yoga workouts but the stretching one and I'm feeling like that would work my idea is to have a minimum of 30 minutes of workout every day it usually goes to 40 to 50 minutes every day which I'm fine with for now I will need I will need heavier barbells soon, like in about two weeks, because mine are like baby weights. I feel ashamed. Hope you hope hope you feel good about that. They're not baby weights. They're like they're cute and pink, and each weighs one kilogram. And my friend Alina laughs at me whenever I tell her that. But hey, it's hard for me. I haven't I haven't done a proper upper body workout. Wow, in a year. So it was before, before I got sick last summer and before that because I had a month where I didn't work out, where everything happened with like, you know, funerals and stuff. So I've, I've had a year of no upper body workout. That sucks, man. Also, I did not walk my dog for a long time and that provides a very energetic upper body workout. So I missed on that front too. Okay, that's that's it for now. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this update. Um, my phone is screaming at me that it's 6 p.m., which means I have to get my shoes on and go to my boyfriend because I'm going to take the long route there because I haven't done my minimum of steps today. I did work out though. Um, this was a lot more rambly than I've done lately and a lot of it about writing. Well, it was about filming videos about writing and setting up a writer related bullet journal. So yeah, I'm gonna run to my film club thing and I'm going to see you all later. Bye. What you doing? What you doing, baby? Here yeah. we go. Who's your pretty boy? Who's your pretty boy? Hello everyone. It's been a long time since I filmed in the car, so I thought why not? Um, didn't help that I didn't really film all this week with uh, with my weird schedule. So um yeah, I think the last time... Oh, that works. Sorry about the light. It's weird. Um, the last time I filmed was at the weekend or maybe on Monday. I can't even remember. Uh, but I think it was Monday before my dentist and after that, well, I experienced a few days of horrible pain and not feeling all that great, which was... Yeah, it was something. God, Jesus, damn it, I hate these holes. These holes are going to be the end of so many cars. Um, 
So yeah, that's that's what I've been up to. Um, taking a lot of pain meds and not doing much. Um, I did write a bit. I think I had two to three days of writing this week. Maybe two. Not a lot of writing though. Maybe it was just the one. I don't know. Yeah, that's what I've been up to. It's been kind of brutal. I did a little drawing. I did a little reading. I got Claire's last book yesterday, which was, well, I had to um, forcefully stop myself from continuing to read it past midnight because um, you know how you're thinking, oh, I will read a bit and then get sleepy and, um, you know, sleep. Yeah, that doesn't work with Claire's books, basically, because um, I'm too busy laughing my ass off to fall asleep. They're funny, man. Charlie Davis is one funny gal. So, um, yeah, I did that. And now I've had a slow start, but I'm feeling slightly better. Um, I'm running some errands that mostly entail me buying stuff we need like groceries and shit and then I'll go back and try to write some more I've got like 6,000 words left in the final Just Don't book in Taylor's arc and I want to finish it today or tomorrow at the latest and spend the rest of my weekend editing I want these three books edited as soon as possible and getting at least one done and sent to my editor by the end of the month would be great because then maybe I can release all three in April. I'm planning for three releases next month. I was supposed to start this month but you know shit happened. Um, I'm not I'm not sorry about that. I'm just if I sound a bit pissed off it's because I'm still in a bit of pain. It's manageable now. But it's tiresome. My god, it's annoying when you're just sitting there waiting for it to go down enough so that you can work and function like a normal person. But um other news, I have no other news. Oh, other than I'm, I'm supposed to film and edit and post a video today. I mean, I've already filmed it and um, I filmed one more and then I realized I have to reshoot them. I don't like the outcome, so I'll, I'm reshooting today, which means I have a bit of makeup on basically for that. Um, so, yeah, that's the plan. Video, write, and there's a new watercolor for beginners tutorial from Lindsay from the frugal crafter and I kind of want to do that too like spend an hour of the day working on my art oh, that's it this has been a rambling <laughs> update um, hope you've enjoyed it oh come on Jesus freaking Christ people can't drive fine. I'm, I'm taking my frustration out on them because I'm in pain. Um, well, post pain, sort of it simmered down and now it's that anger over the whole pain cramping my style still lingering. I have uh, have arrived at Carrefour. I'm going to look for a parking spot. I have my tricks to find parking spots that are kind of the ones I want but because of when I'm coming here I might actually what yeah there we go I might actually change gears and um, park here that's important finding a parking lot that's not far from the entrance and not far from the place where you leave your um, your trolley when you're done. I was also checking that I parked like a normal person and I won't cram the style of others trying to park, which I did. So yeah, that's it for now. I'll see you when I'll see you. Bye. Hello everyone. It's March 31st, so that's the last day of the month and my last update for this vlog. Um, 
I've had my descent into madness stream today with Claire, wrapping up most of what I did this month. Um, I'm just coming from uh, grocery shopping right now. And um, the only extra thing that I would have to add to the stream is that maybe, possibly, I'll finish Just Don't Book 7 today. I need like an hour of writing to get it done and I kind of want to so that I can tick it off. Um, nano camp is starting tomorrow so I'm hoping it will be even better than this month, uh, like in April. We'll see. Claire and I decided to do 10k Tuesdays every Tuesday so we'll have streams every Tuesday for camp or at least for the first week we'll see after that if we still want to do it but that's basically the plan this month has been way better than uh, last month in terms of work and what I managed to do um, my total word count for the month was at around 45,000 words I designed three covers, like three of them, because why not? Um, I didn't need three, I only needed two, one I did for fun. I came up with ideas for other series and things like that, and um, yeah, next month it will be Alina Writes Mysteries month, as far as I can tell. And um, if I have time, I'll get started on my... Um, novella for the charity anthology I'm doing with my friend Teodora. Not sure I mentioned that so far. It's called Hot Summer Nights. There will be like 10 gay romance authors from all subgenres and um, the anthology will be available for an entire Kindle Unlimited term and all the proceeds will go to the Trevor Project which is an LGBT charity. That was super cool for me. What I'm going to write is a novella that kind of eases people into the werewolf series. And um, yeah, once the anthology is off off the market, I will um, I will use that as um, as a sort of an exclusive novella for my for my newsletter subscribers. So. If you're subscribed to my newsletter, you're gonna get that at some point, but I do encourage you to buy the anthology when it's out, because it will be a collection of amazing stories, it will be available at a very, very low price, so um, yeah, it's for a good cause, man, like, why not? Um, yeah, that's it, I'm kinda tired, it's Sunday and I'm shattered, um, I had a stream this morning and then I had this shopping trip and I want to also write. I was planning to draw as well, but I don't think that's happening at this point. <laughs> because it's... what? Wait, let me check, because I don't know. Uh, it's 2 p.m. We switched to daylight last night, so my onboard clock is off by an hour, obviously. I always do that. And... Um, yeah, that, that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. I hope you like the monthly format. It's definitely um, low pressure compared to the weekly vlogs. And I feel you get a nice progression of whatever I've been doing. But, you know, if you think otherwise, let me know. I <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Please like and share and comment and tell me how your month went and I'll see you next month with a new vlog. Bye!